Well, I got most of the main connections on the parking heater done, but I got to run the wiring to inside because on the inside I need to mark, I, I need to uh, mount the little uh, mini timer. This is the, the main control, so this will be in the passenger compartment by the heater, heater controls. Um, I was looking for a spot to run the cable for that through the firewall, and I found one down near the middle of the car, um, just to the passenger side from the steering column. And what I did was I ran a piece of uh, high visibility bendable wire from down there to up here, kind of came up behind the battery and the fuse box. So now I'm just going to fish that down to that connection. It's hard to see that connection down there. My video camera does not fit, but uh, maybe I can use the video feature on my, uh, my cell phone. I might be able to get a better shot of that. So I'll have to cut that rubber grommet to feed the wire to inside the car. Okay, I am under the car. Um, up in the image you're seeing is towards the back of the car. Down is towards the front. To the left would be the driver's side and to the right would be the passenger side. That big black boot you see up there, that's the steering. Um, from the steering column down to the steering, the rack, the power steering pump, etc. And right near it here, um, we've got some hoses. So I would imagine that's the heater core right on the other side. I can feel the hoses. They are warm. I've been running the preheat just because it's so gosh darn cold that uh, just running the preheat just kind of heats up stuff a little bit, helps keep you warmer. This is interesting. Um, when um, I've had the blower running air shoots out of that like crazy. I think somebody told me that was the... Uh, the like exhaust for the uh air conditioner condenser but man you sure get a lot of air coming out of that um but right here is what i'm looking for this little rubber boot goes through a hole in the firewall and that comes out kind of right in that middle console so right by the heater controls basically so i'm either going to pull that boot back or cut a hole in it and get that uh wire the control for the heater through. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wiggle and push and pull and get this, um, the wire down. Oops. Oh, came undone. I can see it. I can probably get it, but I'll have to uh, put the camera down to do that. And then I'll put it through here and then into the car. Okay. So inside of the car now, uh, and of course, here's the heating controls in the middle, and down by the pedals, I uh, already disconnected this panel. It's got those little connectors where you have to pull the pin out of the middle, and then pull it out, and then take the panel out. And then I already pulled back the carpet a little bit earlier. But right there, maybe you can see better if I turn off the light, because we see the daylight right through the car. That's where I'm going to run the, uh, so now i got to pull that wire through. Maybe I'll just use that fish tape again. Um, and then after I pull that through, then I can hook up that little mini timer pretty much anywhere. I know some of the other guys have done it up about here. Uh, maybe I'll just temporarily do it down here. And if I, I don't like that, I can always uh, move it up here later. But I think right now I'll just fish something through there and pull the cable in. Okay, since I now got the uh, wire harness through the firewall, down low, down near the steering column, uh, the wire came up uh, by here past the battery, zip tied it down in a couple places. Now I've zip tied uh, the wiring harness kind of across to over here. Uh, there's no fuses in the fuse box yet, so even though it's hooked up to the battery, it's not up and running. Uh, over here is the little uh, the block for the relay to go into, so I will mount that up. And then uh, all the extra wire harness is kind of tucked back here in the corner. Um, I still just have the temporary fuel bottle, but what I'm going to do is zip tie up the harness that's going down to the fuel pump and the, uh, the heater itself. So right here I have some insulation. It's called Radiant Barrier. It's basically a bubble wrap. Uh, this is a good stuff. It's a 
double layer with aluminum on both sides so it kind of reflects heat back in plus it's flexible so it should be pretty good for uh, wrapping the radiator pipes I'm putting in the car also it is a sunny day today and oh my god that feels so good oh that's radiant heat for you and to be able to actually wrap this radiant barrier around these hoses the other thing I'm going to do is take the headlight out uh, just so I can keep wrapping all the way out and around here. Okay, well that was fun. Basically a lot of wrestling to uh, wrap this radiant barrier insulation around the pipes, but I got pretty much all of it covered. Um, I did need to make sure this is in nice and close right here, kind of limited clearance, and then also where the headlight comes over. Headlight comes about like this, so this really has to be down in there. Um, and then I also had to be careful of the brake hard lines, uh, some brake wiring, the brake master cylinder. And that's just kind of hard to get my hands back in there. But mostly um, I just zip tied the uh, insulation on, figuring, hey, it's going to hold better than tape. And it's pretty easy to snip back off uh, if I need to remove the insulation. Um, only other thing to think about is... Uh, this is metallic, so it's conductive, so uh, just be careful around the battery positive when getting it back in there. But I think I'm about ready to put the headlight back in, and then after that, the, uh, uh, the bumper cover. So there's kind of this curve on the plastic that mounts the headlight that has to clear this. Looks like it fits.